Leos, come out, play EA. What's going on, my Leos? What is good? Listen, it is always, always a pleasure to rock with you guys. Um, I just want to tell you, I've been opening up all of the videos to let you guys know that I hope that this message finds you well and in good spirits. Okay. We just come came off of very heavy energies brought to us courtesy of the eclipses. And I just want to let you know that you are not alone. And I hope that whatever you have had to go through, you have been able to find your peace, your clarity and your abundance. OK. All right, let's rock. What's good, Leo? If you clicked on that thumbnail, you know where you reach. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am, oh, Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. Leo, this is going to be your September 2018. How does Bay feel about you for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You better get ugly. All right? Bon K, Leo, let's get into it because I'm looking. You, you guys have been bad. I don't even want to start. I don't even want to start. Look. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, hello, hello, hello. And if you are subscribed to my Marvelous Tribe, ow, this is that part of the show where I ask you if you care to skip this marvelous intro. The reading will start at such and such time, such and such time. It will be listed in the description box below. For the rest of you guys who know how I get down, let's rock. You know, I started my videos out with gratitude. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all from the moon and back. Thanks for your likes, for sharing my content for, and for subscribing to my marvelous tribe. I'm so excited for Christmas. I'm going to send you all something. I can't wait. And so for those of you who have booked me for your personal readings, thank you. OK, thanks for putting me in your business. And and let's continue to do business. OK. Lastly, I want to go ahead and give a sincere thanks to each and every one of you guys, no matter what category you follow on new returning um, or a subscriber. OK. And I want to say thank you for your viewership, which leads me into the next order of business, which is the contest. I'm running a contest for the month of September. I'm giving away 12 free readings. Once I get to 12, I'm going to stop. I'm going to be opening up my schedule and giving these readings away. I will be randomly picking one winner per zodiac sign that is one winner per video, not necessarily from one zodiac sign. I can have 15 Aquarius. Uh, no, not 15, 12, 12 Leos. If Leos are happen to be the, the people that are asking for a reading, it is what it is. But I would like to choose one winner per 12 videos is what I'm saying by that. The winners will be chosen upon interest. In other words, it's more like a first come, first serve. By simply stating that you are interested in receiving your free reading down in the comment section. Sounds too good to be true, Leo. Let's go ahead and get into the contest rules. There are obligations. OK, the parameters are as follows. First, you have to subscribe. I feel like giving you a free reading is an incentive for you to do that. Thank you. Ow. Please like that video that you watched that brought you to my channel that you were interested in in the first place. Follow me across other social media platforms such as Facebook, IG, Pinterest, and Twitter. Once you've done all of that, simply screen, screenshot and or copy paste that information to me at readings at marvelousmadam.com. Once I have confirmed that information, I will send you your winner slash confirmation email along with the link to my scheduler with your coupon code for your free reading so you can go on the scheduler and simply redeem it. And schedule your reading based on my availability, which I've opened up um, and extended just for this contest. And it's that simple. OK, so for those of you who have circumstances outside of the parameters that I just set forth, you can still qualify for a free reading. Hit me up at, e at via email, please, via email at readings at marvelous dot com. OK, good luck, guys. And one last thing before we move forward, it's only going to be on the how does Bay feel about you videos only. OK, thank you. 
Let's go ahead, Leo, and get into your astrology snippet for the month of September. Saturn is going to be going direct on September the 6th. Now, Venus will be moving, um, entering um, Scorpio on September the 9th, the same day as a new moon in Virgo. I love it. Do your set your intentions with that moon. OK, the sun will be shining in the sign of Libra on September 22nd. Happy birthday, Libra. So you will be getting your birthday bonuses later on in the month on September 22nd, preferably get ugly. Full moon in Aries on September 24th. Things that need to be ended, acknowledged, adjusted and released. Please do your full moon releasing ritual. Lastly, Pluto will go direct on September the 30th, okay? Let's go ahead and get into these cards and how I do things. This is going to be a five-card reading, Leo. Two cards that represent the most recent past and present, the what just happened or the what's happening now. One card that represents the heart of the matter or the what lies beneath. And two cards that represent the overall outcome. We will be blending the bottom of the deck energy for a more solidified message. Okay. I will be pulling one romance angel oracle card, which will represent the overall love theme of what you might be experiencing. In addition, I will be blending the bottom of that deck's energy as well. And that card will not be photographed. All right. So, Leo, let's go ahead and get into your card. So, your card. That represents the theme, the theme of your love, your how does Bay feel about you for September of 2018 is calling in your soulmate. Okay. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you help bring you together. The bottom of the deck is passion. Passion, Leo. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I can tell you who else had passion. I know for a fact it was Pisces. Yes, so some of you can be connecting with a water sign. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So spirit is guiding you to call in your soulmate. You definitely are feeling some passion about some damn body, but... You are calling in your soulmate. So this person that you're dealing with, if you're currently passionate about them, it's a possibility that that is your soulmate. It's not this is your soulmate card. It's calling in your soulmate. So you still got work to do. You have a lot of passion for this person. I don't know whether this person exists now. But you got something going on. Okay. Right off the rip here, we got three threes. Someone's popular. I'm sorry, we have two threes. Someone has been popular and not in a good way. And then we have two eights. There's been a power struggle. The bottom of the deck energy is popularity. The six of pence, a gift. There's been, there has been some sharing, some celebrating, some type of gift. If you look at that card, it's illustrated. There is dinner. There is food being passed back and forth toward hands. Hmm. But someone has been dishonest. OK. Someone has been dishonest, Leo. We have the five of spades. Now we're going to stop right there. We have one, two, three. Three diamonds, two spades, one club, fire, earth and air, no water. Fire signs is you operating in your element. OK, clubs is equivalent of the suit of wands. Wands represent the element of fire. That is Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. Diamonds is the equivalent of the suit of pinnacle. Pinnacle represent the element of earth. That's your Virgo, your Taurus and your Capricorn. Air. Air. OK, air is here. Air is here. Spades represent or is the equivalent of the suit of swords. 
Swords represent the element of air. That's your Libra, your Gemini, and your Aquarius. There are no major arcana in this. There is another sign that didn't have any major arcana, and I think it was Capricorn. I think it was Capricorn. You, some of you guys are definitely dealing with an earth sign. This can change based on your behavior. This is just a guide to what is to come. There is no major arcana in here and on this spread. Right off the bat, someone is being dishonest. There is a hidden agenda with somebody in the most recent past and the present, the energy that is surrounding you. Someone is being dishonest. Someone is has a hidden agenda. Unfair dealings. There is some fighting going on. That part. Unfair dealings as it pertains to the eight of diamonds and or the eight of pentacles now the eight of pentacles is a new job and or money making venue uh venture from existing talent this is you a new job a uh, new training something with a job maybe there's been some type of deceit at work maybe there's been some type of flirting or something that's been going on at work Maybe this celebration goes back to this eight. Something isn't being revealed with this five of spades and or five of swords. OK. Something is being hidden. The heart of the matter, we have the eight of wands. Now, on that particular note or the eight of clubs, that's fire. That's fast progress after delays. Double eights is a power struggle, though. Hmm. I feel like this has been a power struggle over work, money, going out, gifts. It, it has been arguments. Someone isn't pulling their share. Someone isn't doing something as it pertains to financial something. Someone has been dishonest as it pertains to a job, a person at a job, money, buying gifts, going out with someone, Leo, something ain't been right. Somebody's been taking money out the house and going to trick it off. Something is not right. Okay. Could be someone is lying about a job. Something that's hidden in being is not being revealed as it pertains to a job. A side hustle. That's interesting. Wow. There's a power struggle between you and this person. Mm -mm. No, nah, Leo. Somebody ain't honest. It's coming to me now. You're not happy with the person you're with. You've been calling in your soulmate. You've been praying. Your affirmations and your vis visualizations will help bring you together, but it's not the person you're arguing with. You've been possibly moonlighting with a new person that you either could have met at work Someone is being is not being honest about it. Someone is definitely popular. There's love choices. Now, there's no love here. This is all sex. This is all sex and money. We have passion. Your heart and soul is singing with joy as well as your loins. Get ugly. Some, but and, and this I know this because there's a lot of. There's a lot of struggle and strife here. Power struggle between money. Power struggle between money and action. The eight of diamonds versus the eight of, I mean, sorry, the eight of pentacles versus the uh, eight of um, wands. Okay. Travel may be involved. Someone may be traveling to go. Someone may have traveled. Someone has left their significant other. And the, cele the celebrations is not happening with the person that you're with. I'm, I'm sorry. 
the celebrations, the gifts, the, the dinners here is something to do with work, financial or something of that nature. Possibly a new boo at the job. Possibly someone is lying about a job and getting up and going somewhere every day and not going. You could possibly be taking money out of your house and going to split it and, and chop it up and flip it and rub it down with another person. Something has definitely kicked off at a job. Something with a job. I, I just keep saying I, I don't understand. Wow. How do we end this? Well, we end it in the three of swords and, and complete chaos. Here we are playing one off the other. Here we are again playing one off the other. First, it is action versus a power struggle, a struggle between action and money. Someone possibly doesn't want to go and get a job again or lying about a job. Possible travel to go and see somebody that you're passionate about. There's been gifts and things of that nature. I've said that 16 times. Now, we end this with the three of, the three of swords again. Or three of spades. Quarreling. Straight chaos. Okay. But then we end that three with the three of diamonds, which is a success through effort, gains, recognition and things of that nature. Um, this is two threes. So somebody is being very popular and this popularity has something to do with work. This is work. This is a new romance at work. Something is uh, going on at work. I didn't say it that 19 times. Pain, sorrow, separation, heartbreak, grief, rejection. This three of swords. Okay. Somebody heart, somebody's heart gets broken as a result of this five. The five. Conflict, intention, betrayal. There is a betrayal here as it pertains to some type of job. Work. Someone's lying about something. Leo. If we take a look, a, a, a deeper dive here. It just... Something. OK, hold on. Or school. Or school. Someone is is messing around at either work or school. That betrayal leads to heartbreak with this three of swords. And as a result of that, there is a collaboration with the person that has been brought into this relationship as a third party. The celebration is not going to stop. That's what I see. Oh, my God. This has to be the uh, run over a. Um, yeah. This is. Yeah, this is the tale. And then there was three. Somebody gets his heart broke and someone is going. Yeah, this is three people. Oh, my God. Leo, I'm sorry. This has to be a direct result of the run the run over. Or spillage or residual energy from the eclipse. And Leo. You possibly feel like that this new person is your soulmate. I don't feel like this is a current partner. There's some fulfillment. This third person that has been brought into the relationship and someone was blindsided and there's going to be a breakup and betrayal as a result of this. Someone's very popular. Two threes indicate popularity. Two eights indicates a power struggle. Hmm. Wow, Leo. I don't know what else to say. We got a bunch of wands. Listen, there's passion. There's passion. There's a lot of pinnacles. There's been money spent. 
Oh, hell yeah. Generosity, sharing of the wealth, charity. If you look at the traditional, it's like one person, two people at the bottom, some scales, and the six of pence. Oh, yes, there's been some sharing, all right. There's been some charity, all right. That's terrible. I apologize, but I know that this is going to get better, Leo. I feel like your energy has been telling you for a while that you need to get rid of this person that you're with. I can recall the past couple of readings that I have read for you guys when it's telling you this. You're not happy with that person. And I remember ending one of your last readings telling you that you had to make a decision because you wanted that person around based on your ego. Now, instead of letting that person go, you just decided to go out and full flat out cheats. Ooh wee. Now, Leo, this could be done to you, but because I feel like I've pulled this energy and told you about it, I can't necessarily say that it's you. It could be it could be being done to you. So I apologize if that's the case. It's definitely time for you to cut your losses with this person because there's no happiness. Um, the new person understand that that's a fling. Understand that the new person makes you feel good, but the new person may not be a soulmate. For some of you guys, the new person is the soulmate, but remember how you got them is how you're going to lose them. Okay? So if you decided to cheat to get them, you could connect with a person and have a connection, but, no, but don't cross the line. Now, if you're unmarried, the rules are the same. But I can understand how you could possibly connect, especially I feel like this person is at work or school. You met this damn person somewhere. Work, school. I said that so many times. I just I it, it was so plain. I just, I, I, you know, sometimes it happens like that. So. Leo, this has been your reading. I certainly hope that those message resonate resonated with somebody. I definitely regretted to have to share that. But again, this is what I see. I apologize sincerely from the bottom of my heart, but it's time for you guys to let that relationship go. That's no longer serving you. And if it, if it turns out that your fling doesn't go anywhere, you still were not meant to be with either one of them. And then some healing needs to take place. OK, um, again, um, there was a power struggle between you and that person. And there is definitely some popularity going on. So someone is Mr. or Mrs. Popularity, as Leo should be, but not this way. OK, so again, this has been your read. And I certainly hope you guys have a wonderful holiday weekend. Uh, Marvelous Madame will be closed tomorrow to celebrate. So um, I certainly um, um, am hoping that each and every one of you guys enjoy your holiday. It's always a pleasure to read for you, um, Leo. I love trying to figure out what your business is. <laughs> Come back here next week. Um, we will definitely be examining the energy that surrounds you in love once again. But this is going to be um, just your general love reading. Uh, that's that I call top of the month. OK, we're going to be getting those cranked out next week and um, I will see you then. I certainly hope it resonated. Please like, share and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that one of you Leos win the contest. I would love to give you guys, one of you guys, a free reading and connect with you so we can build and grow together. Okay. Marvelous Madame is out. Namaste.